Headers and footers can be added to a worksheet. You have already seen the header and the footer areas of your worksheet are visible when you go into the page layout view. This is the page layout view on this sample spreadsheet. And notice that here at the top it says click to add a header. And if I click around in the header area, there are actually three different parts of the header. You have a left hand header area, a center header area, as well as a right hand header area. Also note that if I scroll to the very bottom of my worksheet, I will also find the footer and it is set up exactly the same way with a left hand footer area, a middle footer area, and a right hand footer area. What this allows you to do is to create your own custom header and footers by just simply typing in this area. As soon as you click in a header or a footer area, you now have access to a contextually sensitive tab called the design tab for the header and footers. And here it allows you to add preset headers such as page one or page one of a certain number of pages, the sheet name, or more information in regards to your company in the date in page one and you can see there's quite a list of pre-set up headers that can be added to whatever area you have clicked in on your header area. Same thing is true of footers. If I come down to my footers and you kind of have to pull your scroll bar usually to the end of the sheet and then use the down arrow to scroll all the way down to where the footer is. Then click within the footer and if you come up here to the footer command you can add some preset set footers into the various areas of the footer. Also note that you have some other commands here under header and footer elements. You can create your own custom header or footers and insert a page number by clicking this command or the number of pages such as maybe you want to say this is page two of a 10 page document which would be number of pages. And to do something like that you would simply type in page space and then click the page number and you'll get that symbol space again of space number of pages and this is the exact code that you would need to create that type of a footer. You can add the current date, the current time, the file path, the file name, sheet name as well as a picture or once you have a picture you can go in and format that picture all here. You also can go to a header or go to a footer by simply clicking the button and jump between the two. And then of course you have some options here, header and footer options, where you can set up a different first page or different odd and even pages. You can scale your footer with the document, so if you shrink your document down in your print settings, the document would scale to that new size for your header and footer areas. And you can align with the page margins to always keep them aligned or set them different than the page margins. So those are the, your different header and footer options. Now for our project, Let's add a header and footer to our menu worksheet in our product list spreadsheet. So if you will, please open up your product list by either opening it or making it active. Or if you'd like to start with a file that reflects the development up to this point in the class, you can open up the 0712 start file which is in your course directory in the chapter 7 folder. So I'll go ahead and use that one and open it up. And let's go ahead and click on our menu tab and let's add a header to our Raspberry Brigade menu. First, make sure you are in the page layout view by coming down here to the lower right hand corner and selecting page layout. Then come up here to add a header and go ahead and click and type in our menu. And then let's go ahead and scroll down to the very bottom and you'll need to drag your scroll bar down and then go ahead and scroll by clicking the arrow till you see add a footer. Let's go ahead and add last updated and today's date. So type in last updated on and then coming up here to your design tab in your ribbon which is your new header and footer contextually sensitive tab go ahead and select current date and it will add the code there that will automatically put in the current date each time this worksheet is open so let's go ahead and click away there it is go ahead and save it and let's move on to the next movie